What's going on guys? It's Raw from Heroes Avenue. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are all doing good out there. We have some Wonder Woman images to talk about in this video. I know some of you guys messaged us about it last night, uh, but we're definitely going to talk about it in this video. And we also have another uh, topic to talk about in Justice League Dark just got announced for HBO Max. We're going to talk about that in today's video as well. Well, let's get it started with these Wonder Woman images. Now, uh, I know they came out yesterday, I believe. All these days are kind of blurring together to me right now. But um, yes, let's. Th there's several to talk about. Let's first talk about uh, this particular image right here. And it has, it, it has uh, Wonder Woman pitted against Kristen Wiig's Cheetah character in the White House scene. So we've seen and heard about this White House scene uh, for some time now. We also saw the scene uh, a little bit in the trailers so it looks like this is the culmination of that particular scene which I do believe is earlier on in the movie I don't think this is the final um, uh, the final uh, battle or the final fight scene which uh, some people were talking about um, and that's because obviously we don't see Cheetah in her final form here and uh, so we saw a little bit of the clip in the trailer which looked awesome she, she was fighting a bunch of guys in the White House and uh, she has her, her golden lasso and uh, Cheetah catching it. It looks like Cheetah is protecting Maxwell Lord's character because we did get another uh, photo of Maxwell Lord all tied up uh, in a separate image. Uh, but for this particular image, you know, uh, obviously the one thing that's missing, at least for me, or the two things that are missing, I should say, is Diana's sword and shield. We've already covered this, the fact that she's not going to have her sword and shield, and uh, Patty Jenkins explained why in a, uh, in a past interview she decided to not uh, have those, um, those weapons on her. I guess it's not a time of war anymore. Um, I think that's what she said. But anyways, the image I think looks pretty cool. Um, we still obviously have not seen Cheetah in her full, uh, her full Cheetah form yet, and we know we're going to get it because uh, there have been leaked images of, with Ch uh, Kristen Wiig's Cheetah out, and Warner Brothers has definitely taken all of those down. Uh, we've even gotten a Funko Pop uh, image, I think, that got t taken down as well. But uh, yeah, Cheetah, she's wearing Cheetah print. Uh, you know, obviously this is set in the 80s, so I guess that kind of kind of matches. It's a little on the nose though, if you ask me, uh, but hey, we'll see how the movie plays out. It's obviously a really great looking uh, movie so far from we've gotten from what we've gotten in the images and uh, the, the, the footage. Uh, but yeah, so it looks like Cheetah does have her powers here, but um, I'm wondering what's gonna really prompt her to uh, change into that full Cheetah form because I know they are changing things up from the comics here. Um, so yeah, it looks cool. Uh, uh, totally has that 80s aesthetic here um, and it's going to be interesting what they do uh, in, in this White House battle scene, right? I think the most, the coolest White House battle scene we've seen in comics so far is definitely from X-Men 2. Uh, that, that scene with Nightcrawler is so freaking awesome and um, hopefully they can uh, top that over here in Wonder Woman 1984. Um, the other image, obviously, is of uh, Pedro Pascal's character, Maxwell Lord. Looks like he's tied up here. Maybe uh, Cheetah's not able to fend off Diana and is able to finally get to Maxwell Lord. He doesn't seem too concerned about what Diana's going to do to her, uh, do to him. Um, so maybe this is all part of the plan. Or maybe Christian Wick's Cheetah character comes in to save the day afterwards. Who knows? Uh, anyways. Looks like uh, Wonder Woman uh, is going to be in for a bit of a surprise at the end of this scene. Uh, we do have uh, some more uh, images out. Um, and I should say, guys, I am not going to go to any spoilers about this movie because I know the movie uh, plot has leaked online already. And I'm not going to go through any of that. I hope those of you who've read it don't comment down in the comment section. Uh, what those plot details are because I'd like to go in as fresh as possible though some of you guys have messaged in the entire plot to us um, you know I don't know if Darren saw it but when I saw the message I tried to look away as fast as possible though I did get spoiled with some details not gonna go into that today um, and I hope you guys don't spoil it for anyone below either so other images that we've gotten this image is super awesome we got Diana in her golden eagle armor um, yeah, we've already seen this before, but this is just kind of a new shot. I think this looks so awesome. Uh, you know, I'm not sure how uh, how much of it she's going to actually be in, how much she's going to actually be fighting in, because we do know she takes those wings off. Um, but it looks awesome. I, I think uh, 
the design of this is is absolutely stunning and obviously Gal Gadot looks stunning in the armor and the role itself so you know it's hard to make her look bad uh, she only makes this armor look even cooler um, then we also got this scene with Steve Trevor in front of the um, uh, this Washington Monument and uh, Steve Trevor and Diana I should say so this looks to be soon after they reunite at that party um, you know uh, I think uh, there's other details about what happened at that party and that obviously Steve Trevor's Steve Trevor's return is not as simple as you think there's obviously going to be a twist that happens uh, but I'm not sure what's gonna happen I didn't read into the spoilers again uh, but these images they look great again this movie looks this this movie looks uh, stunning so far you know I, I'm, I'm really excited to to see you know what Patty Jenkins is gonna do in this 80s timeline 80s seem like they're being done to death at this moment obviously you know we got more of the 80s from uh, you know the Stranger Things uh, TV show that came out there's other there's a ton of TV shows that are um, being set in the 80s and movies that are being set in the 80s it's unfortunate that this movie didn't come out on its original release date and now it's getting pushed back a little further because of the whole COVID-19 situation um, but here we got more images let me go through these two um, we got some stills uh, in higher quality right here so we got uh, Diana running through that mall and again I talked about Stranger Things and of course there was a mall sequence in Stranger Things the latest season um, gonna be hard to top that you know uh, but uh, you know who, who knows how, how much of the uh, the set or the how much of the movie is gonna be set inside of the malls here I imagine there's gonna be a good amount uh, because the malls were obviously a big thing back in the 80s um, so we got Diana and her lasso and her updated colorful suit here and uh, yeah Diana is looking awesome as always what else we got we have Kristen Wiig's cheetah in what looks to be zebra print this time and uh, cheetah's character this looks to be after her whatever transformation she goes through we do see Kristen Wiig's cheetah character in both the first shot we got of her and the the footage from the trailer looks more like an introverted character um, really not too flashy but in in this image obviously she looks like she got kind of an upgrade or a little bit more confidence in her step and uh, she's going through she has this paper in her hand maybe she's uh, potentially gonna meet up with Maxwell Lord maybe she, Maxwell Lord is enticing her with some um, with, with the magical artifact that we've seen in the trailer as well and uh, yeah it's it's cool you know really pulling off this 80s vibe right here especially with the scene in the background with the graffiti uh, looks pretty awesome Kristen Wiig, again Kristen Wiig's cheetah character um, she looks like uh, she this is probably midway through the movie um, but she looks she looks great you know obviously the fashion is gonna be a big thing in here 80s was all about being flashy and it was a time of excess like uh, Patty Jenkins has said so yeah pretty cool image pretty cool image I like it um, yeah, those, I believe those are all the images we got from Wonder Woman 1984. What do you guys think of these images so far? You know, it's again, I, I'm just going to talk about, I mean, I just, I just got to say it's a shame that we haven't gotten this movie yet. We could have had it. Patty Jenkins did mention that she could have hit that original release date, uh, but uh, unfortunately we didn't. We got to wait a little bit longer and uh, I'm just hoping this movie does good. Again, while these images look great, I do I do worry, especially because of some of the things that I've heard in the plot leaks. Again, I'm not gonna go into it. Uh, and, and the fact that the whole plot leaked in its entirety already, really, really troubling. Um, they gotta have a tighter lid on, on these type of things. Uh, but again, I'm hopeful for this, this movie. Hopefully uh, it does good, and hopefully it paves the way for a, a trilogy for Wonder Woman which I know we're actually going to get. Hopefully it pays the way for a, uh, a worthy uh, trilogy, I should say. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. Oh, and we got this other image right here. Here's what I was talking about, the Funko Pop images. Uh, we got uh, the Funko Pops of Diana and her multiple outfits. We got uh, uh, Barbara Minerva and Cheetah, uh, her character here. But we have it blacked out, uh, the actual Cheetah uh, form that she's going to be taking in the movie. Uh, from the little image that leaked before and that has gotten taken down it didn't look so spectacular but again I'm not gonna judge it from the image uh, and even if it doesn't look the best I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that the whole movie in its entirety is ruined because of it obviously the movie can be still great even if the, the design of Cheetah isn't so great so again still holding out hope uh, hopefully that wasn't the final form that we saw leaked out earlier and uh, hopefully there's not too many cats comparisons here. Maybe that's why they're holding off uh, releasing the image of Cheetah. 
but yeah, let me know what you guys think of these images. Uh, you know, how hyped are you? Has your hype level died down because of all the delays? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure we're going to talk more about Wonder Woman in the future, possibly in a reading the comments video. And uh, yeah, so another exciting piece of information uh, yesterday that came out is the fact that Justice League Dark TV show from J.J. Abrams is moving forward at HBO Max. So uh, we reported in a long time ago that there was a $500 million deal uh, that uh, got solidified for J.J. Robot, uh, J.J. JJ Robot, JJ Abrams Bad Robot Company and uh, Warner Brothers. Um, and it looks, or Warner Media, it looks like uh, they are moving with the projects that J.J. Abrams um, wants to create, and that has to do with Justice League Dark, the TV show, um, and and also a couple other things that are really exciting. Um, there is going to be a uh, spin-off of the uh, Shining universe uh, called The Overlook. And again, if you guys haven't seen Doctor Sleep, which is the sequel to The Shining, no one seemed to see that in theaters. I didn't myself, uh, but, I, I recently watched it and it's absolutely amazing. Such a worthy successor to The Shining, at least in my opinion. And uh, this Overlook uh, show is going to be a prequel of sorts and it's gonna take place at the Overlook Hotel and it's gonna detail the different people or the different, um, the different rooms and stories of that hotel. And uh, it sounds really eerie, sounds scary. I'm all in for that. And there's gonna be also an original drama called Duster uh, uh, produced by uh, Bad Robot. And uh, that's supposed to be about a getaway driver, I believe. Um, so all sounds interesting. I'm all in for HBO Max already. I know some of the DC Universe TV shows are probably gonna get rolled over into HBO Max. So, you know, I have HBO already, so uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna work out. Is HBO Max considered part of HBO? I'm not really sure, but all I know is I'm gonna be watching these TV shows. Um, I'm really excited about this Justice League Dark TV show as well. No real details have been set about who's going to be or what the story is going to be about, which characters are actually going to be adapted, but you would imagine some of the more popular characters are going to be in the show. So John Constantine, uh, Dead Man, Zatanna, um, Swamp Thing, uh, I believe, uh, you know, they got to have Swamp Thing in there. Now, I know the DC Universe had a canceled Swamp Thing uh, series that was actually pretty good from what I heard, but um, uh, I guess the rumor is that J.J. Abrams wants all new characters for this, so we're not going to get the same actor uh, from the uh, for Constantine from the uh, uh, the WCW uh, show, or probably Keanu Reeves probably won't be coming back either. Although, although that would be awesome, even though he's not British. <laughs> um, so we're probably going to do some casting, um, some. Uh, top five casting videos in the future. But yeah, I imagine um, those four characters are gonna be in there. There's a lot of people that are actually in this uh, Justice League Dark team, if you guys are familiar with uh, the, the, the property and the team. Uh, there is um, obviously Dr. Fate, we heard is going to be in the Black Adam movie, so possibly there's no Dr. Fate in this movie. Uh, th those are, so the more recent iteration, you know, obviously this lineup has changed, kind of like the Justice League lineup has changed, but it is going to be interesting, interesting to see what, one, what they're gonna call it. I imagine it would be Justice League Dark, but uh, you know, how are they gonna tie this in potentially to the DCEU? I imagine it's gonna be separate at first, but I think they're gonna go ahead and potentially leave room for it to be, uh, to work its way in, this storyline to work its way into DCEU. How awesome would that be? Um, you know, we know that Green Lantern is going to be uh, produced on HBO Max as well. And uh, there were rumors that there's gonna be potentially room for Green Lantern from that series to join into with the DCEU, especially, um, you know, with potentially, hopefully the Flash movie still go comes along um, because we do know that uh, if you guys have read the Flashpoint storyline, uh, the Justice League, uh, Justice League Dark characters are, are, are definitely involved in the Flashpoint storyline. Um, they've teamed up with the Justice League. So if DC wants to plan way down the line, which it doesn't seem like they're doing right now, but if they want to leave some room, there is definitely some room there to play with to potentially leave an opening for this cast of characters to join in the DCEU. So again, HBO puts out usually nothing but great shows. Um, you know, some of my favorite shows are on HBO and they've never disappointed me. Um, Boardwalk Empire, um, Game of Thrones, but more recently we got the DC uh, adaptation, well, the DC continuation of The Watchmen, um, which I hope, I hope gets a season two, but it doesn't look like. Watchmen was so amazing. If you guys haven't seen it, um, it's, it, it, it is 
it blew my blew my mind away um, what they did with uh, that property so I'm hoping they could do the same and bring that same level of of, of talent and um, imagination to the DC universe on HBO Max and hopefully we get the Snyder Cut as well so uh, yeah let me know what you guys think about this Justice League Dark uh, series that's coming to HBO Max let me know does it excite you what do you predict which characters you think are going to be in there or who do you want to be in there uh, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please give it a like, a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell for more, uh, for more videos like this. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.